Welcome! In this video I'm going to show you how you can perform a pairwise comparison using a dumps test for a Cochrane's Q test and also applying a one for one correction using Microsoft Excel. Now unfortunately there's no straightforward way of doing this so we'll have to go over all these steps. In the previous video I showed you how you can perform the Cochrane's Q test in itself and I'm using the same data to continue now with the postdoc and I have uh, four uh, theaters, people uh, were asked if they visited in the last uh, year and so for example this person uh, didn't visit any of these three and only visited the arena. Uh, these are move theaters in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Now um, I don't have any missing values so uh, if you do uh, remove those cases and let's begin. The first thing to enter is the number of categories, uh, which in my case is 4, and define what you want to have as success. It's 4 because I had 4 movie theaters. Success. Uh, in this case, it uh, would make sense to say 1 is success, as in visited. You can also simply use a 0 for not visited. Then, the total number of cases, which is simply count of any of the 4, because I don't have any missing values. And that means in my case I can do count A or count B, count column C or D. Uh, should all be the same. Um, if you do have values above your data, then uh, you need to specify the range uh, exactly, as in from A2 till, in my case, A151. Um, but I'm not going to be mentioning that every time, so um, just bear that in mind if you're planning on following along with your own data. And if you do have something above this. Then the number of successes, uh, that's simply count if. And count if in the range a double dot a. And then the criteria is what we defined as success, a 1. Press F4 to get the dollar signs in. That means if we copy paste it, it won't change. Or you can just type in those dollar signs. Press enter or control enter. And then copy paste it down or use the auto fill handle to drag and copy paste. Now this is all the same because double click on one of them and or the second one for the movies needs to be column B or press F2 and this would be for Tashinsky or you can actually click in the formula bar up here and then also drag or just type in uh, this should be the arena and that's column D. So now we have all the successes that's this scary looking formula then determine for each case the number of successes, that's going to be done in here, which is simply the count if again, and then now this range, and the success is defined again by what we typed in this cell up here in cell K8. Press F4 on the keyboard again to put the dollar signs in, enter or control enter, and then copy paste it down or double click on the lower right corner of the cell, and it seems to be working, this is indeed 2, and this person for example also 2, so it seems to be fine. Square those results, so that is this one, and then squared, and again copy paste all the way down. That brings us to the first big formula. Um, this looks scary, but we can, over can go over it step by step. We need the square root, which is SQRT, then two times and then open another set of parentheses for the numerator k which was this one multiplied by the sum of all those r's that we just calculated in column e and then subtract all the total of column f then we're done with the numerator so close the parentheses and then divide by again opening a set of parentheses for the denominator uh, again k then multiplied by open another set of parentheses k minus 1 close the parentheses times the nf which was up here the total counts and then close the parentheses for the denominator close the parentheses for the square root and you should have your final result. Then, uh, oh, I forgot, almost forgot, this one needs to be squared. Yes, that makes more sense. 
then the total number of pairwise comparisons that we'll be doing can actually be calculating using this formula I'm using capital K for that you can also use the combinatorics function combin in um, Excel uh, we have four options and we want to choose two and that gives the same result six I already listed here all the possible pairs you need to do that manually and then finally once we complete this table we're actually done but it's gonna take a little while first the number of successes V lookup can be used there I'm gonna be looking up this value and then we're gonna be looking that up in this little table up here press F4 to block all the the table again then we want to see the second column because that was the number of successes and it needs to be an exact match so false for range lookup enter or control enter and we can copy this now to the side and then paste it all the way down so indeed the movies was uh, 45 successes and the moon had 81 then the test statistic is open parentheses the c2 value minus what i call the c1 value and then divided by the grand total number of cases which we had up here and that needs to be fixed so f4 again so to get the dollar signs in we can copy paste this down so there was a difference of um, 24 percent then the standardized uh, test statistic which is actually the test statistics in itself divided by that standard error that we just calculated up there again f4 to fix that and then we can copy paste uh, this down and then last but uh, well it's not least yet we need to have the significance of this and this is approximately following a standard normal distribution so what we're going to be doing is two times and then a one minus and then the norm dot s dot dist or you can use the older function but I'm going to be using the newer one the absolute value so that we don't get messed up with positives and negatives uh, of the standardized test value close the absolute one and cumulative is uh, true and we close everything all the parentheses and we get our final result for the significance now these are the significances according to the done test uh, if you like you can put everything as a number so here as well number and add some more decimals to it um, the adjusted significance using the Bonferroni correction is then simply this one multiplied by the number of uh, pairwise comparisons so that would be equals this one multiplied by what we already had done at step 6 F4 again to prevent it from changing copy uh, when copy pasting copy paste down and then we finally have all our results in again this one we might want to see as a number perhaps actually all of them and change the number of decimals to something slightly more or uh, less and now we can see that even with the adjustment the difference between Munt and movies is still significant and also the difference between Munt and arena is still significant so the Munt is significantly more often chosen than the movies and also significantly more often than the arena now if we would have used a zero instead of one for a success then hopefully with all the data um, in the end the results actually remain the same so as promised it doesn't matter if you assign one or zero as success as long as your data is of course binary and that's how to perform the dunce test and get the same result as SPSS does when they're performing the pairwise comparison